Okay, day one of testing a HQST monocrystalline 100 watt solar panel with a Yeti 400. Um, the weather today is cloudy and rainy, heavy overcast, and I wanted to see how many watts it could draw on such a day. So here we are. I got the solar panel tilted, not to its optimum angle because it was only getting one watt of electricity at that angle. So I adjusted it to be at a lower angle. And we are getting, looks like, if you can quite see it, two watts of electricity. There we go. It's a little later in the day now, about 11.45 or so. And I turned the panel a little bit towards more where the sun is coming from. And it's also a little tiny bit brighter out now. And the wattage on the goal zero has gone up to, looks like about six watts right now. Earlier it was producing eight, but the clouds came in a little heavier. Third test of my HQST solar panel, 100 watts monocrystalline with the Goal Zero Yeti 400 and it looks like we're getting 18 watts now with 17 or 18 watts with about 50 percent cloud cover okay so right now it's about 3 30 in the afternoon on a nice sunny day in February and I'm getting 35, 36 watts input power and I've got three devices charging a Chromebook, a Kindle and the phone that I'm filming this with and this is all off my HQ ST100 solar panel into a Yeti 400 um, I had it up to 60 watts about 10 minutes ago but I think it's just dropped down to 36 watts or so to match what the output is. Anyway, alright, same February afternoon, now about 20 minutes to 4. Uh, I plugged the fan in that's burning about 50 watts, running off the same HQST 100 watt solar panel into my Yeti 400. And now, I don't know if you can see it or not, how clear it is, I'm getting 61 watts off the panel with 57, 58 watts output. I'm also charging a couple devices up there. I think that's pretty good considering the panel's rated at 100 and it's late in the afternoon on a winter day in the Pacific Northwest. So I figure in the summertime I'll get much better uh, output from that panel. But I'm pretty pleased with it so far. So we're still getting 58 watts now. And I want to show you something interesting about solar panels a lot of people don't realize is that if you, like right now it's getting full sun, no shadows or anything, I'm getting that full 58 watts. It's late in the afternoon, which I'm pretty happy with for this panel in February. But what a lot of people don't realize is that if you just hold your hand in front of the panel a little bit like that, it'll cut your wattage way down. So you can see now, we're getting down to in the 20 and 30 watts. And all I'm doing is blocking one little cell from that panel. Now I take my hand away, boom, right back up to 57 watts. So when you're mounting your panel, you want to make sure that you have absolutely no shadows. Even just like a, a wire or an antenna will greatly reduce the amount of power you can make from that panel.